Hey y'all, what's going on? It's your girl V. And it's your girl April Lab. And welcome to Level and Lock Talk. This is episode four. And this week we are discussing sister wives. Sister wives. Are we having it in 2021? Sister wives. But I mean, it's such a interesting topic because it's really happening in real life with a lot of couples well, right now. Well, it's it's been happening, but I think it's like this new wave of like a different dynamic. So, you know, they've been having like, what do, what do you call them? Poly, poly. What are those people like in, oh my gosh, how old are we're gonna sound dumb. <laughs> <laughs> we have an airhead moment, an airhead moment oh every gosh, week. Gosh, Don't guys, mind us, the please. People, like, were they in like Utah or something? Like somewhere where they were? The white, the white ones? Yeah. Yeah, they were like in Utah and it was like some, I don't know. But but what I'm needless to say, you also have um I know Muslims do this as well. Mm-hmm. Um and there's obviously there's different <clears throat> um what's the word <coughs> that I wanna say? Requirements or things that need to be met for you to do this. You you you're not just out here like oh, you know, like the average dude that's just having sister wives and they don't want to call themselves that, but they know that right. he's cheating or whatever. But, like, I know on a religious standpoint, because I saw it um, with the, in the Muslim co- community, it wasn't really looked at it like how you look at it not in the community. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, it was, right. It was, it, was, it was, like, it was respected. You know what I'm saying? Like, the man... He had to be able to provide for all of his wives the same way, you know, he had to provide for each of them the same way. And um, it was, it didn't really give off sister wives as we know it, like from TV or when we're thinking about it for what we're seeing like in 2021 where like shorties is just up in there in the house and our old, you know, brother polite. No. Brother Polite, oh, he got sister wives galore. That was that was another one I saw. I was like, oh my gosh, because they're they're black, so he has these, re- you know, regular chicks and I'm Muslim, and at least I don't think so. And they're just all living, you know, up under each other, or whatever. In the Islamic community, I didn't really see that. It was kind of like you got your wife over here. You got your wife over there, uh-huh. and he just would <laughs> rotate himself do, around, do his thing. Um, but this, this living in the house and hey, See, boo, yeah. Hey, so, so that's what's happening with the reason why I wanted to talk about this because I've started watching Seeking Sister Wives on TLC. It is the most enlightening thing I've I've ever seen. Um, they all there's like five different couples and there's only one black couple and it's the black couple that I'm like it's very interested in because the husband is married to his wife I forget their names um but then they just broke up with their sister wife her name was Vanessa I remember her because they They talk about her all the time they broke up she was in the house with the kids the kids loved her and then they broke up so Vanessa had to go um, so now they're seeking a new sister wife. Did but they the, say why they broke up with? I I don't remember. I think okay. it was just um, differences in and what they what the expectations were. And I I don't know if she got tired or whatever. I'm not 100 percent sure. So she's gone. So they're seeking sister wives, and they've been courting two women. Um, one lives in South Africa, and then the other one lives in the states. Okay. So they each had they had each one come at different times. Um, but during their visit, there was no sex allowed. It was literally just to see the dynamic, see if this is something you can handle, see how you are around our kids. You go home, and then next sister wife, potential sister wife, comes in, sees so how whole, she is like, with it. Interview. It's an interview. It's like a application process. Yes. Yeah, they're, they're serious about. Yes, that. and that seems odd. It's very odd, and what was very uncomfortable to me was. When they talk about the D schedule, um, they like the women, the three wives, the three sister wives have already made a schedule for his D. When, who was gonna get it, and whatever, whatever. And watching somebody else kiss my husband in front of me would just drive me insane. I wouldn't be able to handle. So they're not, 
They're not like having threesomes. No. No. And so it's a no threesome. It's no threesome. It's they're sharing a husband. Period. Sharing a husband and being a mother to each other's kids. You have kids with my husband. You have kids with my husband. I have kids with my husband. We are sisters. So we're his wives. When they broke, <laughs> when they broke up with the one short, she must have not had no kids. She didn't. I don't think she had any kids. Oh, okay. I don't think she. I don't. I don't think she had no kids. But it's very interesting. Like I personally, like I said, I just I wouldn't be able to do it for so many reasons. Not necessarily just the. Um, the physical aspect of it, but the emotional connection that somebody else would have to my husband. Well, okay. So I thought about this because, um, you know, I'm not as emotionally attached to guys. (laughs) So (laughs) I could see the upside in this, you know, especially when I was watching the sister wife show that they Mm -hmm. had. And it's like, okay, especially if you get older, if you start getting older and you may not want all that, all that time and energy, you know, you may feel better with knowing that, okay, I don't have to do all the stuff. There's shorty, my sister wife is going to be cooking for him on Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. So I only have to be concerned about being a perfect wife to him on these certain days. And then as it relates to having kids and building, a, you know, you know, they say it takes a village to raise kids. We don't have villages anymore now. We're all in our own little bubble. Yeah. And so with having a sister wife, you do have somebody there that has your shared, and I that's- guess, yeah, and whatever. everything, and and they're also helping to shape and influence your kids in the way that you want. Because obviously, hopefully, your husband just ain't getting any and everybody as a sister wife. They probably it's a have, it's a it's a combined decision. They right. both decide. So, but I just feel like you know I could see the benefit for people that maybe look at it beyond just the emotional physical connection to their husband if they're looking at it like okay we could have joint incomes coming in we can have if they're working because not all of them are working see there's another couple white couple there's two sister there's one two sister wives one husband they have one has kids with him already and one is currently pregnant and the one that isn't pregnant is really going through her feelings that she can't get pregnant and this one is pregnant and I can see how okay bring kids into it that's hard that's the downfall of these types of situations because at the end of the day everybody is human and even when I was talking about it from a religious standpoint the reality of it is people are going to get jealous right naturally as the husband is even as much as he may try to make sure everything is all even killed, he's naturally probably gonna have a favorite. You know what I'm saying? Yes. It's just, it's just it's just bound like yes. I, I like all that. I love y'all, <laughs> but Susie right here. Yeah. Like this this, this the see, one. This the one. And so that's that's why it's hard to to, to no. say that these things could really work. If you are not into it, because everybody's human. If everybody's on the same page and 1,000% all in and don't have emotional, strong emotional connections with people, um, then I could see it working. Um, I want to keep bringing it back to the show because that's where I got this from. Oh, Oh, I know. There's like something attacking (laughs) us and he's like, oh, Nat, it's really bothering me. I'm sorry. (laughs) But then there's this couple who was married. They had a sister wife in Brazil. They divorced so that they can go to Brazil and meet the sister wife, get married on the K-1 visa, bring her back to the States so they can all be together. Oh, wow. So dedicated. But during this trip, the current wife, well, now divorced wife, is watching him plan his wedding with new wife. She's not getting any input. He's kind of like pushing her to the side. 
he had sex with the new sister wife when he wasn't, that wasn't part of the deal. Um, the new sister wife doesn't speak any English, so they're like talking through a translator, but she's really hurt. And she even said like, if it was up to me, I wouldn't choose this life. Like this is not, I don't, I can't handle this. If it was up to but me. But that's what I say. She feels like God, she's, it's the religion thing. Like God has put this in yeah. our path. This is how it's supposed to be. And it, it kind of is, but in today's age, I just can't, I, I don't see how anybody could operate like that. Feelings are going to get hurt. See, I think, so then if you're kind of digging a little deeper and what they kind of talk about the history of us, there are people that believe, and you know, I don't know if this is true or not, but there are people that believe that women came before men and that man is supposed to, to work for us. With that being said, that there was more women than there were men. Right. Um, and so when you start getting into religion, that was a common thing that you saw. Men did have multiple wives. Mm -hmm. They were taking care of multiple wives. So I could see someone who literally who lives in maybe Old Testament stuff, mm -hmm. not New Testament, Old Testament stuff, that would be like, okay, well, this was in, this is in the book, like, this, you know what I'm saying? Like, I guess I'm supposed to be okay with this. But the way our society is set up, you're going to be, you're just naturally going to be jealous. Like, are you going to be insecure? Are you going to be, you're going to be upset because you're sitting there like, hold up. Yeah, what about me? And, and then you can't dictate what type of, physical emotional connection that your right. husband has with another woman that you've agreed exactly. to bring into the the y'all situation and that that would be my thing i'd be like i don't that that was my thing i wouldn't want my husband eating old girl's cootie over there right like and, and you <laughs> you'd be sitting there like yo he does these <laughs> like, to me right is he over there he's definitely over there doing it and and like watching that that dynamic of that particular couple, him being so obsessed with this Brazilian wife, oh, he, was, he was, was crying when they were leaving, and he was like, "I love you, Bird. I love you. I love oh, her." He was, laying it on he was so like you can tell she's clearly gonna be his favorite wife, and was she pretty? Uh, she's just there. Like she's exactly. not. Neither one of them are really cute, but it's like. I can never watch my husband get emotional over another woman in my right. face. Like, I would be livid. I don't like, that's what I mean. Like, how are these not on snaps? Like, you never see. But that's probably what it's leading to. <laughs> you may be watching snaps in years from now. And like, that's a yes, that's that couple from Seeking Sister Wives. Oh my gosh, she killed her sister uh, wife. And her, her, and her husband. Like, it's, it, it, it would, that's what it's giving. Like, I feel like. It will get there if if you weren't one thousand percent on board. If you thought you were, but then it happened, and then you know you're not. You know, I it's it's kind of tough because when I've had these conversations with people, I really do try to take into account that there are really people that really strongly like they live by that right. that situation, mm -hmm. and they do not view it the same way that somebody who like ourselves who do not whatever but here's here's what i'm going to quote to you because you are married and you do love your husband right love him. Love him. <laughs> if by any chance he came to you and he i don't know homeboy if he changed religion gears on he switched up on you somehow and he said babe i love you you my wife but i believe that I should have a second wife and I want to have a second wife. <clears throat> Do you think that you could come to terms with that as his wife, as you, you let that man. And he has, <laughs> it's a reminder. He, he, yes, yes. <laughs> you let that man. And he is saying, look, and he's coming at it not off of no, I just want to be screwing, whatever, right. whatever. I, this is what I believe in. This is a, this is now my lifestyle change, and I want, I think I should have a second wife. 
be? You're asking the wrong person this question. <laughs> this question ain't for me. <laughs> you already know what my answer is going to be. I'm going to say, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Um, if that's something that you really feel strongly about, then I'm going to have to let you go. Yikes. I, I, I'm not for it. I, mean, I don't share. Like, I'm a Scorpio. Yay. It's mine. You're mine and mine alone. I don't share. He said, and period. He, he said, you, yeah, I'm yours and I'm hers. No, ain't no and. <laughs> ain't no and. Get that bitch fucked up. Should be pushed down the stairs real quick. Like, I don't, like, I don't, I don't see, believe in that. Okay, so then on the flip side of that, because I, I think we can line up a whole bunch of women that would say, I don't believe in that, I don't believe in that, but yet they've stayed in relationships where their men are cheating on them, are serial cheaters. Right. They've stayed in those relationships, and they will get they will get in front of a camera, or they will say this flat out, no hesitation, I'm not with that. Right. But they will stay with their man, even though he's cheating on them. Mm-hmm. So, if everybody is accepting it one way or the other. That's, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then, what's the problem with just saying, okay. I don't think there's a problem with just wife. saying that that they are a sister wife if that's how they want to live their lives. They don't want, they don't want to. I mean, they, like they choose to accept it, then that's, you know. I commend them, but that's not for me. Like, I know me well enough to know that's not something I'd be able to handle. My rage would just be spilling over in the relationship. (laughs) Everybody would just be getting all types of shit every day because I wouldn't be... That's right. Um, V, um, it's your day to get the kids. Yeah, right. Fuck the (laughs) kids. Fuck the kids. crazy for most people is that you would have to accept that yes he's doing things that he does with you and that's one thing that people like about having their own man is that you feel like this is our thing this this is our intimate connection this is what's happening with us you laying the D down and you're just doing it for me. You ain't fucking them other hoes like you fuck me. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what you did with the other bitch over there. Uh, <laughs> ten years ago, five, whenever, before we were, whatever. I know I feel like right now you're doing this and it's it's special for us. Right. So that's where it gets a little tricky because, yes, you're going to be thinking like, yeah, what? it's Tuesday and he's with... Sister wife right, too. you're gonna be thinking like, about the whole thing. Like, what's, what's what's happening? I really think it's really beneficial for older women. Our women who maybe don't want to have, they just want companionship. Yeah, they don't really care about the physical thing. They're not into like the whole sexual experience. I, I can see that. I think it will be beneficial for them because they probably will feel like. They have like a a, a family, like you right, know what I'm saying. Right. And Just it, people to love. It, it doesn't matter, man, woman. Exactly. Just, yeah. I I think that's that's true. I think that it's very beneficial to older women. Um. I I, I do I do want to say this because I think there are people like I said that live their life this way, and you know that's why I'm not. I don't want to be like too disrespectful towards it because yeah, there there are people that live their life their, this way. But my whole thing, are they really happy? Is the woman really happy? And then if we reversed it, do you see a man wanting to be with a woman who has multiple husbands? No, because that's not the way it goes. Like, it's never gone that way. Like, so no, they wouldn't even be able to know. And they wouldn't because why? Because it would, it would mess with their ego. It would fuck them up. Like, Ooh. men are not as strong as women. And I'm sorry, guys, y'all aren't. Like, I'm talking about... The things that we're able to handle and just move with, like we can handle a cheat and take back. Y'all can't. If your girl cheats on you, you can't get it out of your head. It's forever. You would, yeah, you would just be done with her. So no, a man would not be able to handle a sister, a a husband, a brother, wife, (laughs) a brother, husband. (laughs) (laughs) You were trying to get the. I did. It's unheard of. You didn't even. 
nobody is going for that. Like, that's oh, not even realistic. My it's it's not. Um, I think that that's that's where I have an issue with it. Is it's like it couldn't work the other way around. You couldn't apply it across the board and it work at the other way around because of all the issues that are there, the way it currently is. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's that's that be my whole thing. So if it's going to whether it's brought up like all the time or something that somebody's dealing with behind the scenes if it could potentially produce negative feelings emotions um then my whole thing is why do something like that so would you be let's ask you if you're a man and you're in love and he comes to you and is like you know i've been thinking and i really think that this is like for me, this is the lifestyle that I want to lead. Uh, can we try this? Can I get three days or four days out of the week? <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's what your response would be. Because you're it's, so easygoing no, that you really was, don't if care. If I was really in love with somebody, then yeah, I would not care. But the thing of it is, is like, that would be very rare for me to be like that, like, oh, you could just do whatever you want to do, and I'm just going to be here, and my heart is yours, and you say keeping it, I, I don't know, I just feel like, it, I, honestly, I don't think it would really work for me, I think I would be like, bruh, like, <laughs> How are you going to manage this? Like, can you right. even deal with me and right. like, my own attitude? There's a lot like, of emotions going on. And then you have a whole other female giving you grief. And what if we're both giving you grief? At the, you're going to be stressed. Exactly. And you're going to be down and out. And then you have to get along with this chick all the time. She's your sister. And then, I, <laughs> and then, and then you know what I'm saying? Like, I, and then I no. pillow talking, you know. Yeah! Oh my gosh! What? You know, April Love was, um, <laughs> she didn't do what she did. Not me being a sister one! <laughs> so you know April Love. <laughs> you know she didn't do what she was doing. Like, yeah. I just couldn't, I, could, I couldn't. Yeah, like, that it. would be wild. Like, you're, you pillow talking with your one sister wife about your other sister wife. That probably goes on. That's what I'm like, saying. Like, I can't and, believe that she didn't and then, She didn't do the dishes tonight. Exactly. Like, and then you're not, that wouldn't just go on between sister wives. That would go on with the man, too. Like, it would yeah. be like. Like, where's your loyalty lie? Exactly. Like, whose side are you on? And, like. <laughs> and, and that's why it's, it's, I it's it. very tough as in. In our society, it, that would be very tough to uphold. Like, I'm like thinking about like the kids. Like, how do they, how do they handle this? This is so because they, they go they, to school. They do they handle? They it. go to school and they see their, you know, friends have one mommy, one daddy, and they're living in a house with two mommies, one daddy, or three mommies and one daddy, and they're like, oh yeah, this is my half sister. Well, my my actual my actual cousin. Um, grandmother was like a second wife so they do it i know they I do, do it, it but, but they i i think it just becomes like it just becomes what it is like you know what i'm saying similar to like what you see now you know there was a time when you turn on tv you didn't see any gay people on tv you didn't see right. interracial whatever and it just that just what it was. But psychologically, like when they grow up, do they become sister wives or me no, husband? No, I think wants? I think even in watching the sister wife show, I think they had like an older child that was like she didn't want to be a part of that. So they do get to choose. Yeah, they. they I think some of them do, but even it's Islamically for the Muslims, I know husbands will go to their wives and mm-hmm. and bring that up, and their wives will be like, "Hell, fucking no." I'm mm-hmm. not doing that. And then they just don't do it. So oh, okay. if, it's, if it's done right, there is a respect aspect of it. And so I think that's why, because I've kind of seen that, I kind of am a little like on the fence about it because I do think 
when we think about it, we're just like, because well, a man is just choosing this, and he, right. you're just falling like a little dummy, and this, that, and that. <laughs> but there are actual, they actually do go to their woman and, you know, say, talk about it first. And, and then their woman could say yay or nay to that. Um, but like I said, even if they say yay, I still feel like there's this this aspect of it where they're going to be sitting there on that Tuesday, Wednesday, or, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I keep them set aside on the weekends, you get them on the weekdays, and they're going to be sitting there like, but I, I kind of want you on, I want you to do my, my day to Friday too. And that's what the girl on here was saying. She was saying that, you know, are you, like, I we talked about, you know, our needs and, you know, our D schedule and it, she's like, well, what about my wants? Like, what if I want you more? What if I feel like I'm not getting enough attention? And he's like, you know, just express that to me and we'll work it out. But how? How? You it's have three women to satisfy. so tiring. That's a lot. And then you have children. I guess you don't really have to do nothing with the children. You have three wives. So all you got to do is lay some D and provide. Um... I don't know. Um, I just did want to do a quick Google search on Vanessa and why she left. And she hasn't spoken publicly until recently. She made a post, like something vague about, she did a, like a, a, a purple heart in the middle of her hand. I guess it's like a sign of domestic violence or whatever. So she's alluding to the fact that there was some domestic violence going on. Do they got the picture there? Just the picture of the hand. Um, oh my god. Yeah, so I mean, battered women choose purple as an evolution of the lavender decades past, blah, blah, blah. It's, so it's a domestic violence awareness month thing. So that kind of like alludes to the fact that there was something going on with, that's why she left. That's um, sad. It's really sad. There were kids involved. They all missed Vanessa. You know what I'm saying? And now they're bringing in these yeah, two, <laughs> two new women. Yeah, I would ask how would you feel about your kids? Ooh, press for another woman now. That that mommy. part, like no, ma'am. Mommy Nessa. Uh uh-uh, uh, ain't no mommy Nessa. You got one mommy. Stop mommy. it. But no, they really would have three mommies. I just couldn't. It's just not for me. I'm not judging nobody. Live your life how you want to live it. But I, it's a hard no for me. Like everything's a hard no for me. Like I'm always but, like no. Okay, to take it a, just just take it a step further, not to be so caught up on religion. Somebody said this recently. Um, they were like, in the Bible, it said, I don't know if Jesus said or if this was in the Revelations, where it was like, there will be no such thing, like no marriages in heaven. And they were talking about it as it relates to society now. Are we really meant to be tied down mm-hmm. to one person? Mm-hmm. If in heaven, they specifically say this is not even going to be a thing. Right, right. So with that being said, do you think that we need to get over ourselves? Like, get over yourself, V. You need to share. <laughs> <laughs> In heaven, <laughs> your husband can do Listen here. <laughs> Ain't no get over yourself over here. That's my husband. And I even told him, like, if I die, you will not... Remarried. Like, I will haunt you for the rest of your life. That's a whole other thing. Like, period. Like, there is no new wife. Like, fuck out of here. No. So, if you're gone and he's still young and he's, you're saying it's a no go, like, we no. can't even. No, I'm, I'm, this is where I'm selfish at. Like, I don't care. Jeez. There is no negotiations. You better not. I'll haunt you for real. See, yeah. No, no peace. I would be like, <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my death bed. Move on. <laughs> you ain't even attached anyway. You already halfway don't care. No, you I don't. just listen, listen. People that don't get no sex, bruh, they be out here. <laughs> <laughs> they be out here, out here acting wild, bruh. They be unhinged. Oh, uh, they really do. And I just would not want my significant other. If I really love them, I wouldn't want them to live without compassion See? and love from somebody else while they're alive. I would want them to feel... I don't know. I would want them to be happy. I want him to be happy. I really would. What? I want him to always be happy, but I want him to learn to be happy without a, 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 a partner. Be happy alone. 
figure it out. Learn a new craft, a new skill. Yes. You know, learn to love yourself and be happy with yourself. There won't be no other bitch. No, I feel like if there was like another like really good woman that I could see that would really take care of him, I wouldn't but you wouldn't be able to see that. I would. That. You I would. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be a ghost. I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna be in limbo until I see it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be, be torturing all, his all of them and torturing them all until, until, the right until I find the you right one. Until I find the right one. Exactly. I'm gonna follow you and see how you live your life. I'm gonna haunt the shit out of you, make you not want to go nowhere near him. Every time you're near him, something tragic is gonna happen. Nice. So yeah, no, I'm gonna be a whole ghost. Clutches, pearls. That's it. I don't care. Listen. So, <laughs> ain't no sister wives over here. Not, not in life, not in <laughs> not death. Not in life, not in death, period. It's over. So, that's our show. But thank you guys so much for tuning in this week, and we will see you next week. We have some new stuff coming up, too. Yes. Um, there's going to be some games. I know y'all like our games. So, we're going to be introducing some games to the channel, and it's just going to be a good time. So, make sure you guys tune in, continue to like and subscribe, comment, and we will see you next week. Hey y'all, it's your girl V and your girl April Love. And we are your hosts of Love and Lock Talk. If you like what you saw, please subscribe, like, and comment below. And let us know what you want us to discuss for future episodes. Also, please follow us on Instagram at Love Unlocked LLC for updates.